I just went for a jog and uh, I've got to tell you it's pretty pretty tough to motivate myself to jog actually you know you get those days no question um, you get up you feel a little bit rusty and you think uh, you know maybe I'll just maybe I'll wait till later maybe I'll do it tomorrow and sometimes you will. Sometimes you will wait for tomorrow or the next day or the next week. And you know, that's okay because the truth is you're not a purist all the time. Neither am I. And even the purists aren't purists. The purist is really just giving you a line of BS until you leave that meeting and they end up lighting up a cigarette. So the purists aren't even really purists. They're purists when it's convenient for them. So you're not going to be a purist. And so I would just encourage everyone, you know, not, not to have a fear of failure when it comes to trying to achieve your health goals. Too often we see these, uh, we see people with these, these goals, but in terms of a, a date, you know, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it on Monday, I'll do it on Tuesday, I'll, I'll start my diet on this day or that day. If I told you that, what would you tell me? You know what you would tell me, right? You know exactly what you'd tell me. You'd tell me, Rob, that's such a pile of crap. But you know, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. We love you. And then when the time comes and I haven't started my day, you say, oh, how's that diet going? And you say, well, you know, this happened and that happened and blah, 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 blah. You know, you'll say, oh, that's okay, Rob, but in the back of your mind, are you gonna be surprised? No, no, you won't, because that's the status quo. And so if you wanna be better, you need to aim better for yourself, you know, not for other people, for you. Uh, and I think that has to do with making time for things now, you know, and you're not going to be perfect. You know, you're not always going to do it now. You might do it later, but you got to try. And if you don't do it this time, you got to do it the next time. So if you have a goal, if you have something in mind, oh, you're going to start something after Labor Day. I mean, that's... That's sort of the timeline now, I think. I think people will say, ah, you know what, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the summer, but after Labor Day, things get serious. Do it tomorrow. When you get home from work tomorrow tonight, take time and meal prep. Plan it out. You don't have enough Tupperware? Well, go and get some. Go and get some Tupperware. And then make a nice meal tonight. It'll be a rough night, you know? You'll be up late, you'll be tired. But then tomorrow, you're gonna have a nice meal. You know, when everyone else is going to get that Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, you know, or a Subway, 12 foot, a uh, 12 foot, 12 inch sub, you're gonna have a home cooked meal. You know, do it, do it today. Don't do it after Labor Day, do it today. If you were thinking of starting to exercise in the mornings and you're gonna do it after Labor Day, go for a jog tonight. Go, go push yourself a little tonight and then tomorrow start it in the morning. You're gonna be hurting. You're gonna have a crappy workout. You're gonna feel sore, you know. Your ego is gonna, go down to a P size but it's okay it's worth it because it's not what happens now it's what happens in the long run right it is a long game it's a long game in health so anyway this wasn't the best run I've ever had it was about I don't know 20 minutes and now I'm just walking the rest horrible right but I don't care I feel good you know I feel good so do it just do it now.